I came here for to work uh, as an immigrant. But suddenly COVID hit. Uh, the money that I had, everything I, I spent on living in the hostels yeah, and my food. So the money won't stay, won't stay a long time, right? Money all finished, then I went to the road. I lived there around one month or two months. And the, I, I was thinking that this is not the way to go, right? But I don't know where do I go and ask for the help. It is important for municipalities to, to uh, support migrants' integration because let's say that uh, integration is all about living in harmony and cohesively with the communities. Yes, we have the motivation to receive, we want to help, but before we have to prepare the, the, the environment for them to be well integrated. They need to have uh, all the services and the uh, possibility in one city so that they know who is who and what they can uh, provide to them, but also how can they themselves get uh, included. Per una persona straniera come me che viene qua in Italia è molto importante di avere questi servizi perché senza questo non puoi fare proprio niente. Abbiamo bisogno di loro. Integration happens in a local level and it's very important for uh, municipalities and central government and uh, NGOs and civil society and refugees themselves participate in the creation of public policies that can reach people and can change their daily lives. We started by a research that helped us to understand what the eight cities involved in the project needs. If we understood that one city had best practices and another city had problems in providing the service in the, in the same practice, we match them in order to fulfill their needs. Pilot projects are um, ways for us to make a change in our cities, work for inclusion of migrants and give them more rights. This is very important because migrants are ex excluded from our communities and we want them to become part of the communities. We want to be one community. Tensions are there um, and we feel it now recently when the Ukrainian people entered to the city that it again faced a lot of tensions and uh, uh, that it is our responsibility as municipality also to keep the community um, equal and uh, in peace. What the EPIC project is doing to change the narrative about migration and promote local integration is to build the capacities, the skill and the knowledge of the, of the partners to counterbalance what we call the negative narratives about migration. These are narratives, arguments that are based on uh, prejudices, uh, stereotypes, uh, misperception about what migration is, fake news sometimes, uh, even racism. So what we did was to set up a process, a one-year capacity building uh, process with, uh, with them to accompany, uh, to design their own uh, local communication strategies. So these are strategies that are tackling very particular issues uh, when it comes to the understanding that the native uh, born population have about migration, what is happening about migration in, in their uh, territories frequentato dei webinar, abbiamo dei momenti di formazione e quindi l'accrescimento di, di competenze nel trattare gli argomenti. The EPIC project gave us the opportunity to adopt and adapt to our context very good um, practices over these difficulties and crises. And we also had the opportunity to exchange among us some very unexpected concerns and challenges. It's important to work with the municipality directly. We have this coordination with them where they send us the beneficiaries of our projects. And that's pretty important because they receive them, they help them get uh, um, allowances and uh, other uh, economic and uh, social help and aid. And, uh, but they cannot cover some other issues uh, because they don't have enough resources and uh, you know public administrations, they are uh, having a lot of challenges. So as NGOs and SSF in concrete, uh, we have these uh, programs and these projects uh, and we can cover what they cannot. We know very well that in this moment, being a community that decides to accept refugees and asylum seekers is a movement of courage that the local governments do. So it's fundamental to join the local 
eh, nel guidare la popolazione locale a capire quali sono chi sono, a conoscere le persone che arrivano sui territori, ma anche a valorizzare il territorio come eh, potenziale eh, luogo di accoglienza, spesso anche inaspettata. L'integrazione passa per l'accoglienza, per la cultura dell'accoglienza. Occorre ridisegnare l'accoglienza, soprattutto la prima accoglienza, eh, dando più spazio alla creazione della cultura, anche nelle giovani generazioni, de, del, dell'accogliere l'altro proprio. Eh, questo è, è, è l'elemento che potrebbe ridisegnare completamente eh, il sistema multietnico delle nostre comunità. Nowadays to speak uh, up about uh, migration uh, is a very controversial topic in the public debate. Clearly speaking in EPIC we work a lot with, uh, with local authorities, with municipalities and it's challenging for them because they have to, to put uh, themselves out there and to promote messages that are not always going to be received by the voters uh, in, the, in a positive way. So it really takes courage 